All right, let's talk to her. Bless my heart. Oh, oh my good, she's old. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient or an oven. Just like store-bought. <laughs> yeah, just like store-bought. Welcome back, everybody, to the Outer Worlds. I'm an old guy gaming, and we're picking up pretty much right where we left off. We just stepped right outside of Udum's office there, and uh, we are now going to go talk to Galatis, um, who's the black market lady, and we also have a public terminal. Let's just take a quick look at this. Hack, 20 message, admin access. All right, uh, from Jay Tennyson, anyone seen Private Taylor? Haven't seen him in days, and where are we on that toilet clog? If Chief Guying taught me anything, it's that a cruise morale is proportional to the quality of their outhouse. You take away a cruise plumbing, you take away their privacy and dignity. So let's get that toilet fixed. Okay, so Tennyson's like the chief engineer. Uh, two wild cat group subject groundbreaker meetup. Even though it's been nigh on 20 years since our last meetup on Groundbreaker, I was hoping we could get the old gang back together. I understand that things have changed. Some of us are long-range haulers, some of us have gone corporate, some of us are likely dead, and some of us are on Tartarus and not reading this message, but I haven't lost hope. No one responded to my last invite. I hope this means your schedules are full up with family gatherings and job opportunities. Stay free, freelancers. This is from Kitty Buchanan. Okay. Um, two, is Conveyors Collective subject Conveyors Rights? Hi all. So I just got off ice from round trip to Dashkova. Two years out, two years back. Imagine my surprise when we dethawed and Groundbreaker comms told us our docking was going to be delayed. One hour turned into five, then days went by. In the end, we spent the entire goddamn week waiting for a berth on this law-fucked bolt bucket. Oh, man, the, the tongue the tongue twisters here. And because we are kicking our heels all the time, not a one of us got paid. I don't know about you, but I got expenses. A family I don't see often enough. Debt you wouldn't fucking believe. And even if I'm not working, I'm go I've I still gotta make payments. Doesn't that seem proper to you? Don't we have conveyors or don't we conveyors have rights? We should do something about this. If you agree, leave a message here and I'll respond when I get back from Jensen in three years. <laughs> Iceman out. Okay. Um is conveyors collective subject Oh, we just read that. Okay. Uh, this message is no longer accessible to your clearance level. What? That doesn't make sense. Your attempt to access this message has been logged. Okay, whatever. Uh, main menu, public notices. Uh, regarding the food situation. To those of you who have raised concerns about the quality of the Groundbreakers' vittles, yes, I'm aware the promenade stinks. Allow me to put the matter to rest. Our ancestors didn't rise from humble beginnings on a diet of Spratwurst and Borst. But that's the reality of life up here. If you can't salt it, can it, or zip it up in a pouch, then we're not picky about calling it food. Spacers make do with what they have, and what we have is smelly meat, lots of salt, and 11 kinds of mustard. Last time I counted. Try and enjoy it. Ship impounded. This is a general notice about our impound policies. If the board impounded your ship, take it up with the board. Their embassy is the gaudy building opposite Sublights Warehouse. Send them your questions, ask any fees, and hate mail, especially hate mail. <laughs> if Groundbreaker impounded you, pay your damn fees and don't bother my people. Uh, okay, uh, looking for work. Urgently looking for a new crew to sign on with. I've been stuck in Halcyon for almost a year now. Don't know what's holding up my next posting. Never had to wait this long to get another freighter. I'd planned to take one of the rare long hauls back to Earth, but I haven't been able to find any. And even the shorter skips to the inner world seem rarer than the outer world routes these days. If anyone has any information about upcoming work, please post it here. All right, down on my luck. Um, hey, so here's my story. My ship limped into Groundbreaker in a rough state. We couldn't make the repair fees, the docking fees, refueling, or the fees for not being able to pay our fees. So I'm kind of stuck here now. When they took my ship and sold it off as scrap. Uh, then they took my ship. Now my credit is shot to hell and corporate freighters won't hire me. I'm hoping someone with a bunk to spare and places to go is feeling charitable. Thanks for listening. This notice has been posted 56 times in 632 days. Interesting. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, let's um, head on down uh, to the medical bay, waste disposal, and let's talk to... I know she's in there, Mpuru. Wait a minute. Where are we supposed to go? Rest and go. It shows Gladys over there. What's the quest log say about Gladys? Speak to Gladys on the Groundbreaker. Black market fence located in the groundbreaker. The only neutral she. Okay, so it doesn't really tell us where she is. Rizzo's mock apple cider, a hard cider for a hard life. 
Okay, what is this? Rest and go. Let's go in here. Looks like that's where she's at. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Remember Auntie Cleo? Because she remembers you. When you were sick, who took your temperature? When you were hungry, who gave you a needle full of love? <laughs> Auntie Cleo, that's who. Have you given your auntie a hug today? This story brought to you by Halcyon News. All the news. All right, whatever. Let's talk to this individual, Milo Ottinger. How do you do? And uh, welcome to the rest and go. We used to be the go and rest, but folks never knew when to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's Business has been slow. Anything to occupy the time. Um how, do you do you do business with promenade merchants? Of course. Most of our supplies come and go through merchants. Company ships and salvage runs are the only traffic we tend to get. I try and steer clear of that creepy fellow in the moon mask. If there's a cost to being a company man, he paid it in spades. Creepy fellow in the moon mask. Okay. Um, how's life on the groundbreaker? Fine, as long as the board keeps its grubby mitts to itself. Chief Tennyson holds the ship together, the promenade holds our economy together, and Sublight is the shoddy jewel in our rusty old crown. <laughs> okay. Um, you mentioned Sublight. Our local garbage collectors. That Lilia Hagen never met a debris field she didn't like. She freely admits she planted her roots in groundbreaker to escape board oversight. But I think there's more to it. She's unusual in the head, that one. Interesting, okay. Um, how does Groundbreaker keep the board bay? Our chief Tennyson has an independent streak, same as her mother and grandmother who rode this ship on the crossing. There's a reason the board's embassy is a glorified shoebox. While Junlei Tennyson lives and breathes, Groundbreaker remains free. Okay, I'm looking for Gladys. Oh, you can't miss her. Right behind you, number two. First unit on the left, or second unit from the right, depending on which direction you count from. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Thank you. Let's go take a peek back here. Oh, we can. That's not stealing. Okay, we can pick that stuff up. Nothing in those things. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the What's in here? This is the head. Nothing. Nothing. Skin tough salve. Sneaky sneaky. No one saw me trip over that, right? Right. Oh, look at this. Squatter's Journal. I served two corp corporate freighters before I got stranded here. Everyone's heard my so sob story, but no one's listening. To them, I'm just background radiation. Wasn't my fault the captain decided to take off early. Wasn't my fault no one checked the crew manifest. Wasn't my fault they replaced me with a full timer. Now I'm filthy, bitless, and bedless. As far as anyone's concerned, I'm groundbreaker trash. That's how I live. And if no one agrees <clears throat> to take me on as crew, I suppose that's how I'll die. Well, that's kind of sad. Okay. Weapon parts, mag power, zero G, technology logger, lots of, lots of booze in this game. Huh, okay, so this is just like the little back area that the homeless person lives in. They, they really need to give us a light, some kind of a light, like a flashlight in this game. Whoa. We're like really in the bowels now, aren't we? Can't go any further than that. I wonder if one of these little passages is what would get us... Oh, where are we? I don't even know where we're at. Might as well steal everything while we're in here, though. All right. Uh, so 
there's um hmm this is either like a, a mortuary or an operating room or something not really sure huh I wonder if we came here a little prematurely and we have to come in here for a quest at some point oh medical bay, bay key card there you go we're probably gonna need that at some point Okay, let's head on back. And we'll come back out through here. Okay, so that was the bathroom. We went through there. What do we got going on back here? Not much, really. Where does this go? Uh, are we supposed to be in here? Talk to your local no, it doesn't. About applying for military training and lend your life to protecting our it doesn't activate the shroud. So, requires a rest and go key card to unlock all of those. As long as that door stays closed, we can hork all this other stuff, though. Let's grab that. Can't, uh... Okay. So, rest and go key card. Hmm. Okay. Let's... Go in here. Are we supposed to be in here? You know what? We haven't done it in a long time. We haven't saved in a long time. <laughs> we should probably do that. Uh, where's our ship at? Map. Spacer's Choice Fender. Here we go. Against all odds, the unreliable takes flight. Okay, hey, whilst Captain, we're here... Your return time is within 14% of the expected value. Okay. That's nice to know, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep. And then we'll eat and drink and all that good stuff. Um, Alright, so what do we have here? Let's eat that. And an antibiotics cream. Harmful status effect reduced. Amphetamines is a convenient, inconvenient pill form. Sniper critical damage. Alright, I'll we'll have to save that for later, I guess. Uh, what's this? Nanner spank? Mind attributes. Last one minute. Interesting. Okay. We're gonna need at least three or two things to drink there, and then um, I guess we can have some tarmac and cheese. Uh, looks like we need one more thingamadoodle to drink, so let's grab that. Okay, we're good. Let's go. Take someone to watch. Uh, yeah, let's go. Watch your back, please. Figure Max. Coming, Max. All right, let's go. Hey, be careful with those crates, huh? Be careful with those crates. Weren't we supposed to stop in the medical bay and s tell somebody something? Oh. This is Halcyon News. What's we this place? Like the barracks or something? Tossball finals are scheduled to air soon. Scan. Examine. Chairman Rockwell took time out of his busy schedule today to talk to us about Minister Clark and his impact on the colony. Working with Minister Clark has been truly wonderful these past eight years, he said. His, his predecessor did a fine job, but Clark's brilliance cannot be overstated. The early retirement program is just the latest in a long line of initiatives he has spearheaded that will ensure Halcyon continues to be the envy of all outer colonies. We couldn't agree more, Mr. Chairman. Has rocked the league and thrown this pivotal... uh, Halcyon News Media Circus surrounds circus time clouds. 
clowns. The politics of Tossball have been have grown increasingly turbulent of late, with the circus time clowns trading out every single member of the team. Oh no, <laughs> that's a that's a team, okay. Uh, asked to comment on the upheaval, the Owners League released a statement saying that the clowns' failure to reach the finals was a deciding factor in their organizational rearrangement. When questioned about the values of this overhauled team, a representative from the clowns stated that their goals remain the same as ever. Toss, ball, win, repeat. Same gotcha. Question. Okay. Both teams have tested negative for performance enhancing standards. Okay. We already looted those, didn't we? Let's go back into here. So we were in the rest and go. So let's get back in there. And we had just gone into this room. Ephraim Maywood. Let's talk to Ephraim. Now, see here, I'm... What was I doing again? Oh, sounds like he's, uh... Maybe he doesn't know what he's doing. I was trying to see if there's one of those keycard thingamadoodles in here. Snot knock you out bar. Frozen dinner. Oh, I'm sorry. Was this your room? I'll just move along. Wait, this is almost certainly my room. That's my underwear on the floor. Underwear on the floor? <laughs> okay, well, he doesn't want to talk to us, and I don't see anything super good in here, so let's move along. Oh, I wonder if we climb up here if we could find one of those key cards. So these are just more rooms. You couldn't pay me to visit Monarch. I'd probably get my face eaten off. Man, everybody doesn't like this Monarch place. That means we're going to have to go there. Toss ball cards. Can we use this terminal without him getting irritated with us? Rest and go guest terminal. Pay to view movies, pay to view serials, hack. Uh, here, let's just see what the movies are. My big candid friend, Nanner Spank 7, Primal Affections, Return to Root. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Synopsis. Raised by wilderness primals, one man will leave the jungle he knows to explore the one he doesn't. Keystone. He came for Nannerspank, but he stayed for love. Can a young corporate executive call her this creature, or will she awake the beast within? Rated PACNS for passion, anthropoid, anthropoid, and consensual Nannerspanking. Right, okay. My big cannon friend. Synopsis. A lab-grown giant cannon goes on an adorable rampage leading a family of scientists on a wild chase across Emerald Vale. Spending the holiday away from home proves to be a chore, but the family soon realizes that true friends are the monsters you meet along the way. Rated FSR 11 for fun time, simulated rampage, and body count 11. I see. Okay. Uh, let's, um, what are the cereals? Baking with Edna. Synopsis. In the time-honored culinary classic, Chief Edna gives valuable life lessons while she cooks from the back or the book of approved cakes. Learn to maintain a structured kitchen, obey your head chief, achieve a good sponge, and obey your sous chef. Edna is the boss in her kitchen. Now she can be the boss of yours. Space Hospital. Uh, if the walls of Orbital Hospital could talk, they'd shriek with terror. These doctors have seen it all. Zero-G cyst lancing extraterrestrial teratoma. Teratoma. Next on a very special episode, in order to trap a Kim thief, Dr. Margrave must become a serial arsonist. Don't forget to see Space Hospital Nights for steamy suspense. Uh, Broderick's Brood. Synopsis. An ordinary colony family daydreams of the, of the extraordinary. While Lucia works in the factory canning process borst, her ham-handed husband cooks up schemes to land her a big promotion. Will that lovable fool ever learn to be satisfied with what he has? Broderick's Brood is a testament to the less in... Less is success family lifestyle. All right, whoops. All right, enough of the screen now. Let's hack. This is the important stuff. Okay, from Veritas, uh, be careful. One of UB's squealers came asking after you. Wanted to know what you like to drink. I was trying to remember what UB stands for, but it's the, the Udom Bedford guy we talked to. Uh, wanted to know what you like to drink. Who you talk to, what your temperament's like. Tried to pay me off. I took the bits and told her a pack of lies. Her... Oh, maybe that is somebody else. This is to that Iceman guy. Watch back when you get in. Don't want to find you in the waste disposal chute. Veritas, space for the 
I see. Been a while since I heard from you. You're on that long haul out to Dashkova, right? Hope it goes well. I got a space for you and yours to meet when you get back. It's just a storage room, but it's quiet and safer than the bar. Should be able to accommodate most of your folks. No fees or nothing. Just let me buy you a beer. V. Okay. Uh, Mr. McRaid. McRaid. We have reviewed your proposal for the 10th time and still do not agree that Galactic Mushroom is an acceptable flavor for our Rizzo beverage. Even if we were to pursue the idea, the samples you sent us were dangerously hallucinogenic. An unopened package alone caused mayhem in our receiving bay. Oh, the unopened package. Please don't reach out to us again. Okay. Um. Interesting. Okay. Not sure that we learned anything too terribly useful there, but... It was interesting. Okay, that's just normal stuff. I'm trying to see if we can find a key card so we can bust into those safes. Ooh, this is locked. We could pick this. Um Understood. I will keep my head down. Mm -hmm. Oh careful. Oh shit. Uh, I think we might be in trouble. What do you think you're doing? He's a spacer. Um, <clears throat> intimidate, whatever I want, leave conversation. I was just leaving, nothing at all, leave conversation. All right, fine, get out of here. All right, well, that uh, could have gone worse. Where did he see, oh, he must have seen us from down below. Interesting, okay. Max, get in here quick. Yes, I'll step lively. All right, so we're not supposed to be in here. There's got to be something good in here. Um, oh, this isn't even stealing. Weapon parts. That's it, huh? Was this like a, a, a rented room? Or a room that we could rent? I don't think we can sleep in the bed. Hmm. Okay. Coming back. Let's go, Max. Wait a minute. Did we... Try and hop up here? Uh, I guess we can't get up there. There's got to be a key card around here somewhere. Okay, I guess we've um, checked everything else out, so let's go ahead and go on in here and talk to Gladys. What's that require? So these spacer individuals are Gladys's uh, lackeys, it looks like. All right, let's talk to her. Bless my heart. Oh my good, she's old. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient. Or an oven. Just like store-bought. <laughs> yeah, just like store-bought. Uh, Phineas sent me, he said you could sell me a navigate to Stellar Bay. Let me see what you've got for sale. Yeah, actually, let's see what you got for sale. I've got a lovely little throw pillow. Just something I toss together. Like to keep my hands busy. Gotcha, okay. Um, wow. All right. Ooh, look at that gun. Dang. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. That does a lot of damage. 480 DPS. Um, An old data pad once used by the Groundbreakers Mardet Security Forces. From the accumulated dust and grime, this hasn't been accessed for over a decade. wonder what we would use something like that for. What's this? Purple Berry Munch? Well, that's food, okay. Restricted stock. You cannot purchase this restricted stock. Short barrel. Okay, why is it restricted? Officer spine. Oh, that does like like corrosive damage. That's cool. Um why is it restricted though? I wonder. 
Just got any armor. Just got purple berry punch. A soft sour candy shell around a sweet purple berry flavored center. Uh, okay, backpack. Increases your carrying capacity by 20 kilograms. Nice. Okay. What is this category? Oh, quest items. Oh, quest items. Okay. Um, all right. Let's sell all of this to her. And Oh, we do have the the silencer. I think I already have a sure grip at the ship, so let's sell that. A speed grip, attack speed, a fun times peril. That th oh wow, that thing's um, res that thing's uh, pristine. It's worth 535 coin. That's nice. I don't think we need the silver tongue kit. Toughened increases body armor and helmet armor. That's not bad. A mag to power. Yeah, I think I want to keep the rest of this stuff for now. We will sell anything, though, that uh, we're not normally going to use, like cigarettes and that sort of thing. Okay, so we'll sell that. Um, what else do we want to sell? Guess that's it. Does she have food for sale? Uh, I mean, oh, yeah, she does. Duh. I, what I meant to just say is uh, something to drink. Okay. Here. Great law, is it hot in here? Or is it just my glands acting up again? I don't really want to hear about your glands, lady. Okay, Phineas sent me. He said you could sell me a nav kit of Stellar Bay. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. It is. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now. I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. All right, let me guess. I gotta do it something for you. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. All right, how much does it cost? Pay 10 Holy crap, Ola. Okay. Any chance of a discount since Phineas sent me? No, no one's ever found my bits lacking. <laughs> Let's see what she says. You've certainly been blessed with an abundance of sass, haven't you? <laughs> but it's your interstellar currency I'm interested in, not your nethers. Right, okay. <laughs> it's hilarious. Uh, how about a discount? Phineas, that old kook. He was quite the dancer back in his prime, did he tell you? He did Real actually, light I think in mention that. Real light in the wallet, too. He still owes me a small fortune. Uh oh, okay. Laws. Maybe I should charge you double. Oh, shit. No, don't do that. Uh, all right. Let's hear your opportunity. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little moral flexibility. That would probably be me. Might be this could help out the groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... All right. What do you want me to do? No qualms here. Let's hear the details. Do you know Edna over an engineering? Can't say as I do. Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. Okay. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Um, why was Roseway abandoned? Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Sounds like someone poking into somewhere they shouldn't be got into a spot of trouble. Those corpses are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. Maybe it's some sort of automated message. Edna didn't seem to think so, and I trust the dear girl's judgment. Well, maybe not in men, but <laughs> she knows her comms. So like as not, someone's been down there recently. And if someone set up shop in Roseway, I'd wager they got something to hide. Okay. Uh, if if it's a corporate town with something to hide, why the SOS? Sounds like an opportunity, all right. If they're hiding something, won't they be liable to shoot on sight? Um, 
yeah, why the SOS? Maybe whatever they're hiding went to heck, and now they need a few spare hands to clean up the mess. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. So you need someone to... Oh. My services don't come cheap. I can see where this is going. Count me out. Well, <laughs> if I tell her number two, she's probably is going to charge me double. So yeah, so you need someone to snoop around for you. My goodness, aren't you quick on the uptake? <laughs> I like that. Smart ass. Should you find yourself responding to a certain distress call, and in so doing find yourself in possession of certain valuable corporate secrets, well, then we ought to have a chat over a pot of tea and my famous cookies. The ones that aren't have, that don't have any natural ingredients? All right, I'll stop by if I find anything. Law bless your atoms. Here's a copy of the SOS recording complete with the coordinates. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. What other jobs do you know about? Might want to acquaint yourself with Junlei Tennyson, Groundbreaker's chief. She's been trying to get a handle on this heat problem we've got. You'll find her fretting in engineering. I'd say she's a sweet girl, but law for fen someone call me a liar. Hmm. Okay. Um, I want to ask you something else. What do you want, then? My hard-earned wisdom? You mentioned Groundbreaker's outside of board's control. Yeah, we kind of already know that. What's this about the heat? What do you do here? Why the board calls Stellar a nav key? Re recall. Um, let's ask about the heat first. Groundbreaker's radiators. Been neither fine nor dandy for weeks now. Miss Junley's supposed to be getting them fixed, but the board's determined to get in her way. They probably don't want you to get it fixed. How do you mean? The board can't abide a community that won't bend to its will. They've always got one scheme or another running, looking for ways to bring us to heel. Like this heat business. Shameful. But it won't work. No, sir. Groundbreaker's free till the day she dies, law willing. Um, okay. Why, why'd the board recall Stellar Bay Napkies? Ask the common folk, and they'll tell you it's on account of all the monsters on Monarch desperate to gobble you up. Because that's what the board tells them, you see. Mm, okay. I think they made some fool mistake that would make them look bad to the rest of the colony. And they're trying to hide the evidence. Could be. What makes you think that? Those board folk are real prideful-like. Never want you looking behind the curtain, lest you see their dairy airs. Mm -hmm. But old Gladys knows the score. The whole colony's not much more than a diorama, showcasing one board screw-up after another. That's why we gotta keep them from getting their grubby mitts on Groundbreaker. She's our mess. Are there still people down there? Probably. Every once in a while, we get these snippets of radio chatter. Edna shows them to me. Some man hooting and hollering about the light in us all. Claims hmm. he's transmitting from Monarch, but who knows if that's true. Might be true. Might be some new trick from the board. Um, you mentioned Groundbreakers outside the board's control. That's right, dearie. The only independent station in the colony. That's us. Though for how long, I can't say. That all depends on Miss Jun Lei. Looks like Jun Lei needs some help. How do you mean? The board can't abide a community that won't bend to its... We already... They've always got one... Yeah, we've already gone through that. Work. No... Okay, uh, back to my other questions. Go right ahead. What do you do here? A little of this, a little of that. I buy and sell items that require discretion to dispose of. Knickknacks. Curios. Mm -hmm. I also knit throw pillows stuffed with the hair of famous tossball players. But that's more of a passion <laughs> project. Okay. What about non-famous players? I earned quite a reputation as a fifth back during my penitentiary, uh, seminary days. You do have a favorable mop, I must say. <laughs> But that's not what you wanted to talk about, is it, dear? Um, thanks for your time. Any time, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Here, take a candy with you. Oh, she gave me a purple berry bunch. Very nice. Okay, 
let's um wrap up this episode because we're out of time guys hope you enjoyed the episode if you did hit that like button subscribe to the channel share out the video and leave a comment those things do help channel do appreciate it and we'll catch you in the next episode where we'll pick up right where we left off Bye bye